The public defender when I came into office was James Doherty, and he always said we were doing God's work. We say that we are a country that believes in fairness and in um, equal protection and, and, and in justice. But what you saw was a push to say the way to solve the drug problem is to punish severely those individuals who are delivering drugs within the community. But if you were actually in the court system, you saw that that wasn't really the case. If you lived in a certain community and you were caught in possession of the equivalent of a sugar packet worth of drugs, you could, you could get probation because you're going to come with your with your family and your records from school and everybody's going to say you have a future and so nothing bad should happen to you. And so that's typically what happened. On the other hand, if you came from another segment of the community, it was like, well, you don't really count. You don't have a future. And uh, you and your gang-banging friends are the source of all the woes in the world, so we're going to uh, give you the maximum. These kids need to have a different path, but until they get that different path, what are we going to do to help them see and know and understand that selling drugs isn't the only pathway? And we can't do it by locking them away for five years. That's insane.